Wählen, auswählen und aussuchen. There are some similarities and some differences and we will look at the more general and easy ones first before we go over to the more subtle differences. So aussuchen and auswählen are actually synonymous. Aussuchen is less formal. This word means that you pick something from a certain group of options. For example, if you want to buy a shirt and you go to a shop and they have that shirt in five different colors. Wir haben dieses Shirt in fünf verschiedenen Farben. Suchen Sie sich eine aus. Sie können sich eine Farbe aussuchen. So there are five different colors and we get to pick one of them. In the more formal version, we would say, wählen Sie eine Farbe aus. Oder Sie können eine Farbe auswählen. So here it's important to note that the structure is a bit different. Although the meaning is the same, the structure is different. When we say aussuchen, we use it reflexively. Jemand sucht sich etwas aus. Auswählen is not reflexive. Jemand wählt etwas aus. Now that you know that they mean the same, aussuchen, sich etwas aussuchen, and auswählen, etwas auswählen, from now on I will only talk about auswählen, but as you know, you can use both terms if you want to be more or less formal. So now the difference between auswählen and wählen. They are both reasonably formal and the difference is quite subtle and you cannot always hear it. There are many situations where you can actually use both words and in doing so you basically shift the focus of your statement. I'll give you an example. Somebody has an interview and then thinks about what they want to wear for that interview and eventually they decide to wear a suit. In that case, we would say, er wählte einen Anzug. Er wählte für dieses Interview einen Anzug. But the same sentence can be used with auswählen. You can say, er wählte einen Anzug aus. But you would use that in a different context. For example, if he, that person we're talking about, goes to a shop and wants to buy a suit and then there is a certain number of suits to choose from and then he decides that he is going to take one of those, so he picks one of those, that would be auswählen. Er wählte einen Anzug aus. Let's say you go for dinner and you're at a restaurant, you have a menu and there is a certain number of dishes to choose from. You can say, wir wählen ein Gericht aus. But you can also say, wir wählen ein Gericht. Now when you say, wir wählen ein Gericht aus, it means from the selection on the menu, we're going to pick one. Whereas when you say, wir wählen ein Gericht, it basically focuses on the action that you're performing in order to get something to eat. So you have a number of things that you do chronologically. You go to the restaurant, you sit down, okay, wir gehen in das Restaurant, wir setzen uns hin, wir lesen die Speisekarte, wir wählen ein Gericht und dann bestellen wir. So this is more about the action and less about the selection from the menu. So you have a bit of a shift here in what you're actually saying. You could also translate it as they decided what they wanted to eat. So if I say, sie wählten ein Gericht, it means they decided what they wanted to eat. Whereas when I say, sie wählten ein Gericht aus, it means they picked a dish and it's implied that it's from the menu. There was a certain number of dishes on that menu and they picked one. What's important when you look at the word auswählen is that you either name a pool of things that you're choosing from or it is implied that there is a pool of things that someone is choosing from or picking something from. And that pool has to be quite clearly defined because when you talk about choices that people make, there is often an implied pool of things or options they're choosing from, but 
they are not very clear. And in those cases, we actually use the word wählen and not the word auswählen. For example, when you speak about someone's destiny, one chooses their own destiny. So if I say that a person chose their own destiny, I could say, sie wählte ihr eigenes Schicksal. Now we assume that there are many options for different types of destinies or outcomes in life, but they're not clearly defined. So in that case, we would always use wählen. And the same happens when you decide on a certain way of living. For example, when you decide that you want to live in the country, then we would say in English, we chose that way of living, right? And in German, we say wählen. Er wählte ein Leben auf dem Land. So yes, there are more options, but they're not very clearly defined. So we use the word wählen. If we have only two options, we also cannot use the word auswählen. So we need a pool of things, not just two things. If we have two options, we have to use wählen. So for example, if you have to decide between the blue pill and the red pill, you would always say wählen. Wählst du die rote Pille oder die blaue Pille? Apart from that, wählen can also have another meaning, which is to vote. So you would always use einen Politiker wählen to vote for a politician and also dial. So when you dial a number, we say eine Nummer wählen. So here's something where you would see a clear difference. If you say eine Nummer auswählen, that means that you have maybe, I don't know, 10 telephone numbers and you pick one of those and then you can use auswählen. Ich habe eine Nummer ausgewählt. But if you dial that number on your phone, then you have to say wählen. Ich habe diese Nummer gewählt. So those are practically just different words. I hope that made it a bit clearer how we use those words and I will see you in the next video. Wir sehen uns im nächsten Video. Bis dann. Tschüss.